Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can create a Wix website with Python. So in this tutorial, I'll cover a couple of things like getting an API, coding in Python, and then connecting that to your Wix.com website. So to get started, let's find an API first. I'm going to be using ng proc. So an API is what allows our two codes, be that means our uh, Python and our fellow in Wix to actually talk to each other and exchange information. Think of it as the chef and the waitress. So once you go to ngrock here, ngrock.com, you just have to sign up for free. It's completely free, so don't worry at all. Once you sign up, you'll be taken to this dashboard here. You want to ignore everything, just go here to your auth token, and here you'll have your authentication token right there. You just want to copy this and make sure to not lose it. Now we're actually going to uh, code our Python. So you want to create a new tab and I'm going to be using Google Colab. You can use Google Colab as well. Let's wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, we're going to start uh, coding first by installing some packages. You want to type in an uh, exclamation mark, pip install dash u and then flask course. Okay. Now you want to do another one, pip install flask and then last one pip install by ng rock okay pip install ng rock just run this and wait for it to connect to the back end and it'll install our packages give it a second now you see when it's running here it's already say like it's gonna install it's gonna download and you'll know it's done when there's like a little green check mark right there. Okay. Okay. Now, once all of the packages are downloaded, we're going to make a new code block. And on the new code block here, we want to type in exclamation mark ng rock out token and then uh, paste in the token you got from earlier. So copy this, go back and then paste that in and then just run it. You'll see if it's correct if you say it, if there is this message that pops up. Great. Now that we're done installing all of the packages, we're going to start actually coding. So in this example, I'm going to make a simple Python code that uh, calculate the multiplication of the input we're going to give on our Wix website later, right? Okay, so first off, you want to type in from Flask import flask and then you can see that it auto uh, auto completes there i'm just going to tap and it's going to auto complete everything uh but we we need to add one more thing here we're gonna from flask import flask and then i'm going to do a comma and then request and then auto complete there jsonify right great now from here you want to type you want to press enter and you want to go app equals equals and then flask and the name and then course app just like that okay now we're going to type enter again and we're going to do an at and then app dot route okay and then a parentheses and then a uh semi a single semi a single quotation mark and then slash calculate because this is a calculate method, right? And then a comma, and then methods. You want to type in methods, and then equal, and then post. And you can see that it already uh, auto-complete our code for us here, but we're going to ignore that because that's not the correct code we want. I'm going to type in a, sing a single quotation mark, post right there, right? And then I'm going to tap enter and then def, and then calculate, calculate, and then parentheses, and then a colon, and then I'm going to do data equals request dot get, and then a dash JSON, and then num1, num2, like that. Just copy the code. Oh, you actually need to do dot get here. And then dot get here as well. And I'm going to change this into a parentheses. Okay. Change this to a parentheses just like that. Gonna change this to a parentheses as well. Great. Okay, now on we you just want to delete this. 
we just want the num1 and num2. Now I'm just going to type in result and then equals num equals sorry num1 times num2 right and then I'm going to do return chasonify right and then parentheses and then a result and then outside of the quotation marks there I'm going to do a colon and then result following me so far okay now that's our whoops now that's our code main logic finished now we just need to uh do the request for the ng rock tunnel now i want to i want you to follow after me again public and then dash url there you go it auto completes right there equals ng rock connect right and then i'm going to change this actually i'm going to change this to print uh parentheses and then f public url so we know what the api url is and then i'm going to do this and then public url right and then a semi a quotation mark here as well there we go i'm going to delete the one from earlier okay great now the last the last one we need to do is to app dot run parentheses port equals 500 oh 5000 sorry there you go now that your python code is done we just want to run this okay and you see that now we have a public url ready to access from wix so don't let this stop just uh, keep it running so the server is running as well so if you want to change the methods or you want to change what you do with the data you receive from wix you just want to change whatever is inside this dev calculate uh, function right now let's go back to wix and on Wix, I'm going to add two input field, a button, and a text, right? Okay, so I'm going to add first a button. I'm going to do this button. Do this button, okay? And then I'm going to do two input fields. So input right here. I'm going to do one. And I'm going to do one more. Hold on, one more. And I'm going to do a text to show what our result is, right? I'm going to give I'm going to make this a little more prettier. Give me a second. Okay, perfect. Now we have a very simple UI here. Now we need to do a little more coding on Wix as well. So you want to go on the upper right here on dev mode and then turn on dev mode. Great. Now on dev mode, I'm just going to uh, make this a little smaller here. Okay. Now uh, repeat after me as well on the coding here. You just want to type in a dollar sign here and then W and then dot on ready. And then parentheses and then function. And then hold on function. And then I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to clear the parameters as well. Clear the parameters just like this. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to add a semicolon here. Okay. Now we're ready to code here. I'm going to do a dollar sign again and then a W and then parentheses and then quotation mark and then in here you want to type in a button you want to do uh, the name of the button right so if you hover over in the button here you'll see uh, the download port is like uh, the download one is uh blocking it right? but there you go you see a uh, hashtag button one that is the element name you want to note down to use for your code hashtag button one right so we're going to do a dollar and then a w and then parentheses and then a quotation mark and then you want to go inside that quotation mark and you want to type in the name of the element from earlier which is hashtag button one right and then you want to go outside the parentheses and then you want to type in dot on 
click, right? And then parentheses, parentheses, and then you want to uh, enter from the outside. There you go. So the one of the parentheses, outer parentheses is at the bottom there. And then you want to type uh, on the side here, you want to type in equal and then an arrow and then this, right? And then you want to type in the function we're going to do here, okay? Now I'm just going to make this a little more neater per se. I'm just going to change the outer parentheses to up here and I'm going to add a semicolon as well. Right, great. Now from here, you just want to start coding, typing here, just follow after me, const num1 equals number. It's all case sensitive, by the way. So if there's a uppercase, make sure to type that in as well. Parentheses, dollar, W, and then parentheses again, and then a uh, quotation mark. Now in here, you want to take note of the te of the input field, you c the two input field you have earlier. You just hover over them to get their element name. The first one is called textbox one, and the second one is called textbox two, okay? So you just want to type in hashtag uh, from the inside of the quotation mark, don't forget, hashtag textbox1, right? And then you just want to type in outside, just uh, outside of the first parentheses, you want to type in dot, fa not valid, value. Don't forget the semicolon and then enter and then cons. We want to do the exact same thing here, just dum num2, again, number. Number, and then parentheses, and then a dollar sign, and then a W, and then parentheses again, and then quotation mark, and this one we will we will type in our second text box. So hashtag text box two, okay? And again, outside of the first parentheses dot value, and then don't forget the semicolon. Now from here we want to add in the url we got from earlier so fetch okay fetch and then parentheses and in here we want to add in the uh, the url from earlier so go back to your google collab say i'm not a robot and you want to copy and paste this url right here right okay copy go back to your wix website editor wait for it to load great okay now fetch and then you want to do a single quotation mark paste in your uh, web URL from earlier, and then you want to type in slash calculate, okay? And then you want to do a com comma, and then I want to, I'm going to enter just to make it neater, and I'm going to do a this, okay? Now I'm going to type in method, method, and then a colon there single quotation mark post all uppercase remember it's case sensitive i'm going to enter after putting a comma right there and i'm going to do headers and i'm going to do a colon and then i'm going to type this and i'm going to type in a single quotation mark content oh sorry you need you need to be uppercase in the start content dash uh, uppercase D type and then outside of it colon and then single quotation mark application application slash JSON okay now you want to do a comma here and then on outside of this you want to do a comma as well right now you want to enter and then you want to do party and then colon and then JSON dot stringify and then parentheses and then this and then num1 colon num1 and then a comma and then num2 num2 okay I, I did a typo here now after this, you just want to, I'm going to make this a little neater actually. Give me a second. Okay, there you go, perfect. Next, we're going to type in then, and then parentheses, and then response, okay? 
and then equal and then arrow and then response dot json right and then parentheses okay you want to type and then enter and then 10 again and then uh, parentheses data equal uh, and then an arrow and then you want to type in this okay and then you just want to type in a uh, dollar sign w a parentheses quotation mark and you want to type in the element name of the result text here so if you hover over it mine is text 19 okay so i'm going to type that in text 19 text 19 okay great now i'm going to do outside the parentheses i'm going to do text and i'm going to do equal and i'm going to do result okay i'm going to do a colon as well and i'm going to do plus data dot result great and don't forget to send my colon now i'm going to add in a catch er, a catch as well to catch any errors like for example if the website insight isn't able to fetch the api so i'm going to do dot catch and i'm going to do parentheses i'm going to do error i'm going to do a question a equal and then a arrow and then console and then dot error and then parentheses i'm going to do error or something like that and i'm going to put in the error code here as well and that's it after you've uh, put in this last line of code of catch error you're done make sure that your uh tunnel here your ng rock tunnel here is still running uh by making sure it's like still spinning the logo here but that's pretty much it let's preview this to see if it works give it a second okay now that it's loaded let's just do like a four times five for example i'm going to press calculate and there you go the result will be generate that automatically it's going to use our calculation from the python code from earlier so this is the basic of it if you want to change how you uh, process your data what appears what not appears what gets returned what gets processed you can just change the function here but of course you're not limited to functions python goes very deep if you do want to learn more there's a lot of documentation you can learn and you can learn a lot more about ng-rock, about Fellow, the Wix, what Wix use. And if you do put in the time, you can do some amazing things with Python and Wix. I'm going to go back to the editor here, and I'm going to show you my code again. I fixed a couple of typos earlier, so in case you run into some uh, issues, just pause on the screen here and just copy my code directly.